Hello, Booktube, and well, uh, another video I wasn't uh, expecting. I got a small package in the post. Uh, I think I know where it is. It's white box, so it's probably similar to that. Interesting thing is that came with a different name, but it was Hermes that delivered it, and it's weird. This one says Hermes on it. I don't know. I don't know what they're going, what they're doing. Um, figure out how to open this. Oh, okay. And my, oh, I think it's one of these that do that. Okay. So let's uh, let's get the tape cut here. I think it's very easy to open. At least I'm expecting it to be. No, I did the wrong side. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's put it down here. Let's make some space for uh, to do things. And let's see here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, not much packing material. I don't think there's much space for it. Oh, how am I going to set it here? There we go. Uh, yeah, more Simac. Uh, Fontana, size of Enchanted Pilgrimage. I don't think I've ever seen this cover before. Uh, must be British. Yeah, first... No, it's... Oh, yeah, it's Cedric and Dan, uh, Jackson, 1976, but uh, issued, uh, reissued by Fontana in 1977, originally in 1975. Um, a rubber stamp from someone on there. Oh, I got a hard... He sent a hardcover of that before. Um, let's see here. Oh, I think that might be a duplicate, but that looks in better condition. Uh, why call them back? Oh, it's falling down here. It's falling down. Uh, why call them back from heaven? Um, uh, no crease on the spine at all, so it's a lovely condition. Uh, it's a Methuen paperback. It's one of these, um... Uh, I forget what they're called now. Um, it's Methuen, but there's a name um, for for them, and I, I forget now. Uh, published in 1967 originally. Uh, this is, this edition 1985, and again, I really like that uh, prism sort of for the A. Hmm. Cat. Oh. This is, I think this is Mastodonia. Sorry. Uh, I was trying to figure out Catface. And I think that's the British name for uh, Mastodonia. Uh, let's see if I can see that anywhere. Scanning for that name. Uh, Mandarin. That's the name of the, uh, uh, the imprint. Doesn't say there. What's this about? Aza Steel's backyard had always been a very uh, has been a very ordinary, standard sort of place, till his dog Bowser uh, began to find fresh dinosaur bones out there somewhere, and down in the orchard they found some strange metals unseen on Earth before. Yes, it's Mastodonia. Yeah. So this is the British Olus. That's a lovely one. Again, I've never seen the the. Um, the UK version, this this cover, lovely. Don't even think I have Mastodonia. I haven't gone through to find out. Oh, this is nice. Uh, not Simac this time. Um, I've been wanting to reread this. This looks brand new. James Blish's Cities in Flight. Uh, SF Masterworks, uh, Golens, or well, Orion, um, sort of all, all the same publisher. Um, Yes, it's all of them. Um, it's got an uh, introduction by Adam Roberts, who's written uh, several books on science fiction, fantasy, horror. Um, Mummy, I think I have one here. He might have done one on Werewolf as well. Uh, afterward by Stephen Baxter, and also a science fiction writer. Afterward uh, by Richard D. Mullen. I'm not sure who that is. But it's got They Shall Have Stars, A Life for the Stars, Earthmen Come Home, 
uh, The Triumph of Time. So this is all of the cities and flight stories, I think. That's going to warrant a reading um, sooner than later. I've been wanting to reread that for a long time. Okay, short story collection, So Bright the Vision. Again, Simak, that's the Mandarin, well, Methuen Mandarin uh, covers. Short story collection, yeah, the Golden Bugs, uh, Ledge Force, Legendary Foresight, that's what it means, So Bright the Vision, and Galactic Checks, Chest. Um, I think this was specifically a uh, UK um, collection. Uh, if memory serves. Well, no, this is uh, first published by Ace in 1968, so it might be an American uh, one originally. All Flesh is Grass, which is a good one. Again, one of these mandarins. Uh, these are ones, I think, because they... All the other ones pretty well, I can, can tell. I'm sure it's from uh, somebody's uh, collection that's got a number inside. So these might be ones that uh, the person picked up. My benefactor has picked up uh, at bookshops. Uh, this is 1985 uh, edition, originally 1965 in Britain. Uh, first published in Britain, 1965, yeah. Uh, also, I think in the UK. Uh, I mean, in the in the in the states as well. It's a really good story. Another Mandarin. Ah, uh, the Autumn Land. Another story. So Autumn Land's a really good first UK publication. Again, in the Mandarin. Uh, nice shape. Bit of creasing on the back cover, but that's fine. I always don't mind creasing on the cover. It's uh, on the spine uh, when you when you go to buy a book. Uh, So we got Rule 18, Jackpot, Contraption, Courtesy, Gleaners, and the Automat. Again, I'm, I'm going to look because I did find, uh, last one uh, in, in there is there's all the traps of Earth. The British edition has different stories in than the American version. So that's that's kind of neat uh, to, to have that happen. Right, still a few more here. Um, yeah, there's some interesting, these remaindered, remainder marked, uh, and this one is too. Oh, this might be, that looks familiar. I might have that already in, in the box up there. But again, I don't know condition, and I, I'm assuming that's why. Um, so this is Mandarin. I'll plan another collection of stories. It's the collected and edited by Francis uh, Lyle. And it's got Construction Shack, Ogre, Junk Guard, The Observer, The World That Couldn't Be, Shadow World, and Mirage. See, uh, in this one... We've got Junkyard in here as well. Uh, any other? Uh, it's the only one, I think. Uh, let's overlap. Yeah, two more books to go. Uh, the Werewolf Principle. Again, I think, uh, but this is the Mandarin one. A uh, bit of sunning uh, there. Uh, let's see here. This is 70, 70. Oh. 68. Okay. I thought it was a bit later. 67 uh, in the U.S. Now, oh, this is a nice one. Sorry. Oh, wow. This was the edition I read. It's really nice condition. Cosmic Engineers. Uh, it is uh, second printing, 1967. The first printing was 1964. Uh, and it went into book form in 1950. Uh, Gnome Press uh, was this. It's a sort of first novel. He wrote it for... Uh, um, um, Campbell, uh, John W. Campbell for Astounding. It's a very short, it's like a novelette. Uh, I'm not sure how, I think he worked on it and changed it for the book, uh, publication. So I'm going to have to eventually track down the, um, the original story from it, but that could be a little pricey. Um, but I don't know if it's, 
uh, reprinted anywhere. That's the thing. So, yeah, so this is very nice. So thank you again very much. Uh, this has got to be getting almost complete for my Simac. Uh, it's, if not, it's it's very, very close to it. Uh, this, oh, By the way, this paperback library. I just love the cover. Um, is that Richard Powers? It's got the look of a Richard Powers cover. Um... No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's nice. But again, thank you very much. This this was really great. Um, yeah. And the city's in fight. Most of the Simac, well, I won't be getting to, or none of it. I'm, I'm not going to be getting to any of it, really, until next year. Um, but the city's in flight, I think, will be before that. So, again, thank you very much. And I'll see you next time, BookTube.